Welcome back on uh, Watch Advisor on YouTube. It's Alexander speaking, your host. Once again, this is a hands-on video, so you will not see me, but the stars on your screen and the stars, the superstars on your screen, the new Vempe Iron Walker watches. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell to get our latest notifications. And in case you're doing this for the first time, you have the chance to win one of the Bose noise cancelling headsets each month we're giving away one of them. Take your opportunity and win the Bose noise cancelling headsets. Wempe Ironwalker, a new collection introduced by the German jeweler Wempe. And these are the watches I'm going to talk about with you. But before doing this, I want to quickly ask you, have you already seen our video or watched our video where I am talking with Rüdiger Albers, who is the president of Wempe US and Bernhard Stoll, who is in charge of the Wempe watch division in Hamburg in Germany and headquarters of Wempe. If not, please do so because there you will get all the background information to the new collection, the new Iron Walker collection of Wempe. The new Iron Walker collection of Wempe consists of 16 watches. Uh, six of them are today here. Four of them are in your picture in uh, essentially showing you the main uh, types of watches the collection is made out of. You have a chronograph, you have a diver, you have a freehand watch and a freehand ladies watch. The freehand watch for men's and ladies can be either bought as a mechanical or a quartz watch. The diver and the chronograph are only available as mechanical wristwatches. So let me start with the chronograph. This is the new chronograph of the Aaron Walker collection. It is a 42 millimeter case, 42 millimeter case. Um, the watch has, oh, the case, not the watch. The case has a height of 13.95 millimeters, 13.95 millimeters. And the famous lug, uh, lug to lug, lug to lug distance is 44 millimeters uh, with this. It is a completely, uh, a watch completely made out of steel with a steel bracelet and a folding clasp, clock. And what is essential is that there are two versions of that chronograph. There is a version with a blue dial and there is one with a black dial. You see both now. It's hard to say which one is the more beautiful one. This chronograph is really heavy metal. Let me say it this way. It's heavy metal in the sense of you really get weight and value for your money. Um, I've been weighing the watch before um, bringing it to the screen here. And what do you guess? How many grams um, does uh, the Vampe uh, chronograph in steel has? Yes, I can tell you 202 grams. That's really, um, let's say, a solid piece of stainless steel watch you get. Perfectly executed, no doubt, perfectly executed. I've been going around and around by touching the watch with my fingers before putting on the gloves. Um, and to, I've been tried, I was trying to find any spot that is probably not perfectly executed or finished on the case, on the, on the bracelet. I didn't find any. You have a polished basil here. It's a polished basil. Many of parts of the case are brushed. This all brushed parts here. Also, this side is completely brushed. The bracelet is also entirely brushed, but there is a small exception of the rule. You have here brushed parts, the inner link, the edges um, here are, there are small polished parts here and here, these parts are polished and these do make the bracelet look very elegant when warm, but as the watch is mainly brushed and not polished, it is a very decent um, watch in sense of it's not shiny. It is not easy to show you the chronograph on my wrist at this time because as you see the watch does have a lot of uh, links that I on my wrist would not need. Anyway, if you need to do some adjustments you can unscrew, there are screws here, and you can take them out to easily adjust the length of that 
bracelet. I didn't want to do this. Uh, this watches go back to the Vempe here in Vienna. Some of you might uh, think I have seen this design before, especially if I quickly go back and or, or show you the freehand watch um, and you say, yeah, have I, haven't I seen this design before? Yes, you have. Yeah. I think, um, and this is no doubt, the Wempe Iron Walker has heavily been inspired by the um, old engineer from IWC Schaffhausen. And um, I think this is a good idea to do it because the old, mm -hmm. not the way as uh, IWC Schaffhausen is uh, selling the engineer today, but the old one is really a beautiful, gorgeous watch. And if uh, Wempe, and it looks like, especially if you know how the engineer, the old one looks, has been inspired, Wempe has been inspired by this gorgeously looking and beautiful watch. So they've done a good job. And of course, they are delivering quality. They are delivering value for money and much more. When we closely look at the dial, we have a very beautiful blue dial. And of course, today is 1st June. The date indication, the date disc, where we have all the different numbers on printed from 1 to 31, is of course matching 100%. The color of the dial, it is not a black disc, it is not a white one, it is a blue one as it should be. And if I take the black watch and I put the black watch in the camera, you see 1st of June and the same here, the date disc is perfectly matching the color of the dial. The chronograph is powered by an Valju 7753 movement. The little push piece you find here at the position of 10 o'clock uh, with this push piece by using um, something to push on it, tuck, um, you will change the date. So you are not changing the date by pulling out the crown in the first or uh, in the second position. Um, this is done by this push piece here. It is a chronograph with a start-stop function. It is not a flyback chronograph. So we have stop, you can see stop, start. The chronograph has been running. We do have a running second here. We do have a 30 minute counter at the position of three o'clock and the position of six o'clock. There is a 12 hours counter. So once you start the chronograph, the sub counters will add minute by minute and hour by hour until 11 hours and 59 minutes and then it will restart literally from zero. It is not a flyback chronograph, as I just said. So when the chronograph is running, as it is doing now, and if you are pushing the reset button, nothing happens. You have to first stop, and then you can reset the chronograph, and then you can start it again by pulling on the push piece at two o'clock. The crown, of course, is screwed down, meaning has a security, a second security. Chronograph is waterproof up to 100 meters. So absolutely um, usable uh, for swimming and many more purposes when you are outside and when you're doing some sports or whatever you're trying to do with it. So the watch is ready to go with uh, being 100 meter waterproof. That's more than enough for such a sport watch. Look, on the back of the watch, it has not a see-through case, but it has a solid uh, case bottom. Engraved on it is Sternwarte Wempe Glashütte in Sachsen. And what you see here is the observatory Wempe bought in Glashütte in Saxony and uh, where Wempe has established the completely manufacturing assembly of their own watches called Wempe. So in Glashütte in Saxony, they are operating their business out of the former observatory and this is engraving shows you the observatory and now you see oh what a coincidence of course the watch alexander is showing into the camera has this alignment from north to south and if i will buy a watch of course the alignment will not be there and the vampire sternwarte will be aligned like this or maybe more to the other side <laughs> I have to disappoint you because every of the watches I have here meanwhile by opening I can also show you the clasp it's a folding clasp that comes and of course has a security here on the security you have the engraving Wempe you open up but now let's come back to what I wanted to show you here Wempe Glashütte Oh, Sternwarte, once again, perfectly aligned from north to south, no doubt. 
no cheating. All the watches that are here on my table have the same alignment, so this is not a coincidence that one of the watches does have the alignment of the case button from north to south correctly. It is meant to be, and it's wonderful to see someone manufacturing watches with such, so many beautiful details. Here's the crown with the Vempe logo on it. Let me show it here, there it is, the Vempe logo. Yep, and once again, the two executions here, the black and here, the blue one, the chronograph in the picture. This is the diver of the this of Vempe, same case uh, diameter 42 millimeters, but not as thick as the chronograph. The diver is a little bit slimmer. It has 11.7 millimeters of height. Uh, the watch is powered by an ETA 2892. As you can see, the watch features a basal that is inside of the watch. Basal as it meant to be, in the sense of being used by a diver, you will unscrew one of the two crowns, the upper crown, and then you will be able to turn the basal, but as, of course, only counterclockwise, it is a diving watch, and so the basal is meant to be only to turn counterclockwise, and you see here, if I turn in the other sense, nothing happens, counterclockwise as it is meant to be with a diver. There we go. So just in case we would go diving right now, uh -huh. you could put the marker here, 320, 321 to be precise. Then you again screw and then you go into the water and from now on you would have the information displayed as you want it on your diving watch. Stainless steel case, perfectly executed, two crowns. With this crown, if you unscrew it, you will set the date by the crown and you will be able to wind the watch if necessary of course it's an automatic movement and it's a 2892 but you can and of course here the same metal stainless steel bracelet beautifully executed but there's a difference of course um, the diver has a different kind of clasp um, here we have the Vempe logo a protection that the clasp cannot open so once we open it it will unfold this way, so you see. And of course, I know everybody's waiting for, you have the possibility, and here you go, to extend the length, the length, you can extend the length of the bracelet if you want to wear the diver on a rubber or on a diving suit. This is the version in blue. Now, here comes the one in black, the same, I've been weighing also this uh, diver, and um, how much do you think? Yes, the other one was 202 grams. Yes, a little bit uh, uh, thinner, so we are at 192 grams. It's really a solid, really solid stainless steel watch, perfectly executed. There is nothing cheap on the watch, absolutely nothing cheap. Whatever you touch, whatever you feel, yeah, whatever you do, it feels good. I have to say this. And I really have to say congratulations uh, in, in the sense of to Vempe to really offer such a beautiful watch uh, for such an amazing price. Also, the prices are, of course, on your screen. So, uh, as you see, they are really uh, spectacular. You get real value for money. Um, yes, also this one, uh, the diver is certified as chronometer, is clearly marked on the dial here, chronometer. And of course, it is worth to be mentioned, but meanwhile, you uh, already know it. The color of the date disc, of course, perfectly matches the color of the dial. So once again, perfectly matching the way it, how it should be. So far, this um, diver in blue is my favorite in the collection, I have to say. I um, really fell in love with this blue dial. Maybe even now someone says, no, 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 Alexander, here, here, the blue, the black one is much more nicer. Okay, okay. Once again, all the cases, all the case buttons of all the watches I have here, all perfectly aligned and really looking good. Let me also quickly show you the difference between the chronograph and uh, 
the diver in the picture. So you see both of them now. Beautiful. You clearly see the difference. The diver is much thinner. Oh, not much, but it, it, the diver is thinner. The chronograph 13.95 and the diver 11.7 millimeters in height. Yeah. The thickness of the chronograph is due to the Valju 7753. This movement is quite thick with the automatic rotor. That's the reason. And let me also compare quickly the black, the black diver to the black chronograph. There you go, both watches in the picture, the black diver and the black chronograph. Very nice. Um, normally I'm a, a big fan of chronographs, but um, in this case I have to say I really fell in love with the diver. And here especially with the diver in the blue. The Ironwalker automatic Herrenuhr or man's watch. A freehand watch with an automatic movement, an ETA 2892, just like in the Diver. The watch has a diameter of 40 millimeters, so 40 millimeters. The height of the watch is 9.75, 9.75 millimeters. Quite thin, I would say, for such a watch. The watch is not really thicker than the bracelet and uh, the lug to lug distance lug to lug from here to here measured as always is 41 millimeters and also here i've been weighing the watch because i was curious to know what you get <laughs> and uh, it's a solid really massive uh, manufactured steel watch and uh, the yeah freehand watch what do you think 165 grams so 165 grams to compare the chronograph is 202 grams um the diver 192 grams and this uh, freehand watch is 165 grams so a really solid massive steel watch perfectly and beautifully executed um 100 meter waterproof a screw down crown of course yes as it should be uh, with a crown protection you have a crown protection here Nice design element. This is the folding clasp of the watch. The folding clasp, you close. And also the men's watch features a security. So the clasp cannot open before you are not opening this security. Maybe you now start, believe me, what I'm saying about this beautiful alignment of the case bottom once again. Sternwarte Wempe Glashütte in Sachsen, perfectly engraved. How much do I hate watches when you turn them around and everything is upside down and you don't find it the way you want to see it. I have to mention, of course, I just have the version here with the black dial, but the freehand uh, automatic watch uh, is available in a blue dial with a blue dial and a white dial. And you can also, if you are more into a quartz movement, you can also buy this execution of the watch in with a quartz movement. So if you are more into quartz, you can get the freehand watch with a quartz movement. And to show you that there are quartz movements, I last but not least, the one last watch I have here for you to show is the ladies version. It is 36 millimeters, diameter 36 millimeters. The height is the same, 9.75, 9.75 as with the men's version. And the lug to lug distance from here to here is 37 millimeters, 37 millimeters. And the lady wearing the watch, she will have 117 117 grams on her wrist really a solid piece of metal heavy metal stainless steel perfectly executed also the clasp the same here folding clasp there you go and a security to fix it with the engravement vampe on it so there you go freehand automatic this is a quartz, you see it, the hand is jumping on the dial. And as I just said, both watches either are available in quartz or as a mechanic. 
And I also want to show you a black diver beside the freehand. Both are powered by an ETA 2892. And you see the thickness. The diver is waterproof 300 meters and all the other models are waterproof 100 meters. And let me also, because I didn't do that before, show you the freehand automatic together with the chronograph in one picture. So this is the chronograph and the freehand automatic watch of the new Vempe Iron Walker collection. Let me again put my favorite new Vampe Iron Walker into the camera and on your screen. That's the Diver with Blue Dial. Important to know is that the Vampe Iron Walker collection uh, is now sold through the Vampe uh, outlets or the Vampe network uh, around the world. So the watches are available. All the watches you saw today are part of the collection that belong to the Wempe store here in Vienna. And I would like to say thank you very much to Philipp Pelz, uh, who is uh, the manager of Wempe here in Vienna uh, for giving me the opportunity to film his watches. The most important, if you are interested to buy or to get more information about uh, the Wempe watches, and if uh, you are, for instance, uh, living somewhere or watching the video somewhere here, um, and uh, there is no Vampe store close to you, please uh, shoot me an email, alexander at watchadvisor.com and I will be more than happy to help you uh, by passing your information, your requests and whatever you want to know about the watches to Vampe and Vampe will be then taking care of you. So you can get the watches around the world. If you're watching in the States, for instance, Vampe is located in New York on Fifth Avenue and Rüdiger Albers is more than happy, of course, with his team to help you and to show you the watches. And in case you are not in New York or not close to New York, he will be happy to send the watch to you, of course. Take advantage of the possibility if you're interested and let me know. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching this uh, hands-on video of the new Iron Walker collection. Stay safe and sound and be sure um, to come back very soon to discover the next videos we have online here on Watch Advisor on YouTube. Bye-bye.